All right, after a really long time of testing, I have finally been able to get two designs of the HB power supply to ATX adapter. And so here is what I have come up with. There are two variants. There is the low profile one and also the standard full size one. So it just works with pretty much any HP power supply. As long as it's in this form factor, I think it should work. All you do is just slot it in just like that. It clicks in with the, uh, you know, the locking mechanism. So you can't really, can't really pull it out and it doesn't really want to move, which is great. And then the breakout board, just like that. So I should mention both of these are printed out of ASA, which makes them great for being temperature resistant. They're resistant the whole way up to a hundred C, so 212 Fahrenheit, which makes it great for uh, mining server cases because it shouldn't be getting that hot inside of there. And for like an open air, it shouldn't be getting near a hundred to a hundred C. The low profile ones are really nice for the, uh, they're made specifically for like the VETA case frame. They have several, they have six holes and these two line perfectly up with the, uh, with the bar here on the VETA case. T-slot nuts on there and you can line it up and then tighten it down. It can be tightened from the midsection here as well as in the uh, front, just like a normal power supply would. So you can line it up that way. Now, once that's in and secure, you can take your HP power supply, slide it right in, and then you can attach your breakout board. Now, hopefully you can see that there's a little space where it goes over and then it just kind of sits here. As long as you don't have any weight pushing on the breakout board, I think you should be okay. So now this one's pretty much in and I actually attach these to my own personal open air frames. So here's that footage. All right, and then the full size. This has the, pretty much the same setup except for the uh, the mounting plate here, which makes it ideal for computers that aren't made for HP power supplies. You can literally attach this in. The holes, all the holes line up. I added an extra, a bunch more because the HP power supply has to go in this way and you can't flip the breakout board in the back because that would ruin it. Depending on what case you have, the holes may not line up. This one does for all of them, but like this one over here, this is like a standard, standard setup, right? And surprisingly, there is enough space in all of the screw holes to line up. Using this or any powered, it might be a little bit overkill. See, I don't put in the inserts because uh, it's cost saving and I actually don't have the time for it uh, right now. You as a consumer are allowed to, you can easily melt your own with a soldering iron, melt your own inserts in here. But I recommend just hand tightening them or if you're just good with, with these. Here, I'll show you on the, uh, it'll catch, you're gonna be making your own threads. So you go, it catches, it gets tight, and then you stop specifically for this. Cause like what ends up happening if you go too far is it just spins. You just went a little bit too far. So let's see here. Here's one. See, I went too far. Oh, there it got tight. But if you keep going, now I'm just spinning in place. You can still take it out, but you just kind of ruin that thread. It can still technically be used because the plastic will grab, but yeah. There shouldn't be any cracking on these. I made the uh, this part extra thick. But another thing, I don't know everyone's, you know, PC size. So this measures a little bit less than eight inches. It's seven and three quarter, exactly. But if you have a breakout board attached, so let's take this one out. You have the breakout board attached. This is just a smaller one. I know they have longer ones. This is gonna be measuring you know, uh, 10 and a quarter. Unless you have a longer breakout board, it could be past 11 inches. So take that into account when you're inside of your case to see if you, like I've got about a foot of space, so I should be okay. 
and like these over here they have a ton of space in the back which is great for breakout boards but that's something that you the consumer are gonna have to figure out on your own i mean i do offer returns but try to do as much work beforehand to make sure it's compatible with your system now i suspect these are going to be used in mining cases and let me go take a look all right so i'm in the mining basement here's one of the first mining cases that i have and i'm going to line up the power supply here and it looks like i have about a foot of space there and for that one so that will be compatible it'll just sit in there screws in just like a normal atx power supply and i will have ample enough space for cables to route through whatnot and so on and as for the second case i have i only have two the other one is both of these are bought from nerd gears this is a, a tighter case that i have and you can see there's no like tray but there is enough of space to easily uh a foot plus in the in the case there so that will also work i built this strong enough to easily hold the hp power supply and the breakout board and the cables one more thing i want to talk about is future development i am currently working on a third variant of this and it's a weird one it's where this part is up front here and it sticks out more this way in like the middle of this part so that it'll be protruding out of your case because sometimes it's a little bit too tight back here and you can't have the full breakout board moving shifting the power supply over should give you enough space to add your hp server power supply to pretty much any desktop computer no matter how like small that area is so i ended up making a last minute change to the design here as you can see this back little thing that stops it from, you know, going too far. When you have a different kind of breakout board, the PCB will rest up against this. With the other breakout board, it was, it would go over top. So now we should have full compatibility with like almost all breakout boards. This little gap right here is two millimeters. So it fits perfectly. This is, product should be fully released, available eBay, Etsy, and Shopify, but yeah. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. Just go to my website, 3dprintmaster.co and use the contact information there. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.